It's your butt. That's all it is. Just your butt. Yep. Oh, hey, we have 456 aggressive animals. That's not very friendly, Juice. It's your butt too, Cat Dad. How about that for friendly? Um, Space Squaz is awaiting treatment. Okay. For what? What's wrong with you? Blood poisoning. Why don't you just heal yourself, man? Um, it's just a, just a pill, you know? Why are you going outside? I'm so confused. All right, uh... Your butt is glorious, says Gooey Bear. No one doubts that. Where are these bugs at, though, Gooey? Oh my god, did it transport me inside of a rock? Where the hell? Oh, no, they're... They're right here. It looked like there's so many of them. It literally looked just like bushes on that hill. That's concerning. Um, we are in the process, or for the for mana's sake, the process of building uh, orbital antennas so that we can start to research, or so we can start to contact spaceships and get transported off of planet Ken. Um, we need Krista and Han to come home. They're working on it. All right, perfect. And not fast enough. Here we go. And just like that, everything goes sideways. Here comes the swarm. We've got a big one, team. They're damaging my concrete fortifications, these bastards. That's rude. They damaged my flamethrower, these bastards. That's rude. We got a big one, team. And now we just have a cleanup in aisle three. Uh, 11 left. Okay. Apparently they don't want to shoot it uh, even when they have a line of sight from here. So we're just going to bring him down. Alrighty. Well, because of the power clam, that wasn't that hard, eh, Goofling? Oh, I should also mention that tomorrow we're going to play a new game called uh, Small Land which I believe actually came out today on Steam. And it's uh, a little bit Conan, a little bit grounded. <clears throat> You're like a tiny little elf person making your way in the world today. And it takes everything you got.
we have food in the freezers we have armor guns everybody has is equipped equipped it is winter it's the beginning of winter this is good to know everybody's uh geared up i like it i got no complaints right now goofling goofling what's your complaint right now i know you've got one come on don't hold back i'm ready <clears throat> i can take it Nothing. He's so upset that he can't comment on anything. That is disturbing. Uh, what are we missing over here? A CPU core. But there's a CPU core on that shelf. There it is. Ken's all over it. Because Ken is the best. Even though he's going to play darts. Instead of finishing his work. Nova, where are you going? What you doing? What's over here? Some stick. Four sticks? Is that? There's got to be more. All right, good. My complaint is I'm dry. Oh, you shouldn't. Yeah, don't type. Sorry. Gosh, well, now I feel terrible. I mean, not really, but kind of, you know. Bird, uh, hello. How are you doing today? We have so many t shirts. Hey, Pop. I feel very industrious. Look at us building satellite antennas or whatever they're called. Antenna dishes. Chev, what's this called? It's a space th antenna dish for space. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do it, or else. Or else. We're gonna have flyers show up soon. But there's no satellites, so how can it be a satellite dish? That's my point. well i had a date scheduled but he canceled 10 minutes after we were supposed to meet now i'm just relieved that i get to hang out chilling at home because he gave me weird vibes oh oh my he gave you weird vibes then why what is why are there nine animals attack oh because han's a dummy right got a little too close to the sun here bud The hell it is. The hell you say. Miss. <laughs> how dare. Han, how dare. Here we go. Nice. 
guess. Get them. The turns have tabled. Let's go. Let's go. Because it's not a satellite dish. That's my point. It's like a communi It's like an orbital contact radio dish. It's a different kind of dish. I honestly didn't think there were going to be... Oh, God, there's still another one right here. <laughs> Where'd this guy come from? Whoop. case yeah i guess it is a satellite dish i sit corrected thanks man of science if the ship is in orbit then it's a satellite what if it's not in orbit but it's in space passing by but it's not in technically not in orbit called orbital antenna you don't know what you call that but it probably wouldn't be around long what do you mean it wouldn't be around long what does that mean? The spaceship, you mean? Look, I don't know, dude. I didn't make the game. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell this is called. And it's called an orbital antenna, okay? And it detects signals from and sends signals to spaceships passing close to the planet. That's it. That's what it says. I don't know if that's unrealistic, Chev. I am not a, a science guy, okay? My name is not, in fact, Robert Nye. No, Will William William Nye, the science guy. What if it's just uh, a SpaceX rocket with Elon's uh, sports car on it? Is it still going fast? Self-destruct alert. All right, let's do it. We'll send uh, send Nova. She's a champ. Um, now you're gonna go make delicious noodles and chill. Good bird, make those noodles. Make a make it a noodles, huh? All right, we also have to make a landing pad. Uh, which I think I want to do where the balloon just took off from. So we'll do that afterwards, I guess. <laughs> or maybe we could do it here. Is this seven by seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Hi, tough. I haven't seen you in forever. Old Thorfelton there. Ah, uh, jeez, bud. Alright. We're gonna cancel this. Oh, flyers! 335! The first time we've ever seen flyers 
it spawned 335. That is not the best news. Uh, Krista sleeps with Simon, apparently. All right. Everyone has to be inside. This is this might be a massacre, man. 335. That's a lot. Did you start early today? No. Talking to me or tough? Hi, Emmy. Gooey bear. Hurry up, Yoko. How far away was Yoko? Oh my God. The entire area is littered with items from a ship's cargo deck. Uh, let's get how to sleep to learn sleep training. Yoko, hurry up. Okay. This is bad news, bears, my friend. These things are gonna murder our faces. All over the places. Stop stopping. Please keep moving. Please keep moving. Please move underneath. I can't even. So what you're missing here is that there is a roof. Yeah, so we're like underneath it. It doesn't mean that it's safe under there, but it helps. And then we kind of direct our shots at the ones that are kind of low flying. Got him down to 20. Uh, that was a whole lot. They destroyed one, two, three, four, five, six of our turrets. Okay. Okay, then. I don't like that as much. I don't like that as much. You got foods cookings. What's your cookings there? Good lookings. Why do you go outside to heal yourself, Squeezy? This is so weird. Cat Dad, why is Squeezy so weird? <laughs> what are you doing? You knock it off for Simon. I don't know, but I like it. Well, tough. Get the day off today or something? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I 
now we're healing our friends. She gets her power from sunning her butthole. Okay. Is this true, Katan? I feel like it's probably not. Just knowing Squeezy. Unsure. Yeah. If I had to, if you had to guess, though, you'd, you know, like, if you, if you had to guess. I would guess no. Yeah, me, me too. This is not because I've had any conversations with Squeezy about her undercarriage. I just... I'm just going to guess that it would be no. Uh, rock chunk based on other context, contextual clues, you know? You get to know somebody, and at some point, people ask may ask you questions about that person. You tend to, you tend to feel pretty confident in uh, your responses uh, about certain things. Anyway, this is one of those times when I feel like I'm pretty confident. I think we're maybe learning about bird, you know. We discovered humming flies, everybody. These are called humming flies, which sounds like a real kind of a cute. Oh, it's a humming fly. Like a hummingbird's a real cute. You know, that's nice. Uh, and then they just fly around and s shoot acid at you. And that's real ouchy. And they destroy all your guns. That doesn't seem nice. But Ken's here to fix everything. Because Ken is a delight. Like Gweb. Look at him. Look at him repairing. I've never heard anything about that. No. Why would you tan? I don't understand. Doesn't make sense. Who? Who? What? I mean, whatever you're into is fine, bird. I don't know if this is like you're trying to get us into your MLM. Is that what this is? Is this like an elaborate Ponzi scheme? Because I'm willing to get in depending on how close I am to the ground floor. People trying to be wellness influencers. Yeah, exactly. Get it, the ground floor. Uh, okay. All right. Good job, Ken. You're doing great. We're we're fixing stuff. We only have four more guns that we need to fix. <sighs> Knowing Jason Moon, it's gonna throw another like 400 at us in like 20, 20, 30 seconds. You know, it's a real jerk that way. And Nova was admiring Ken's muscles. Uh oh, you better look out, Gwen. You got some competition. Oh my. So at this point, we need to be stocking up on metal, right? Because these things are going to keep blowing up our turrets. Sorry, you have a common cold there, Krista. It's unfortunate. Um, all right, so to that extent, let's. We're gonna put Han back on scavenging. I don't know how much there is left to scavenge at this point. Oh, there's this guy. Uh, we have. one up here um we have done a pretty thorough job of getting all the the debris 
uh, that's within like a reasonable amount of distance from base. So unless it's hiding in the trees, I feel like we kind of did did our due diligence here. You know what I mean, Bert? All right. We do have uh, a hot air balloon, though. We can send some expeditions to nowhere. No, we can't go anywhere. All right, perfect. <laughs> Eventually, it'll it'll find more expeditions for us to do. Like maybe some place to get some scrap, you know. Madbags and John, you won treats. Congratulations, you're the best and not the worst. I'm gonna put more barbarians down because that's how you get kills, my friends. Once we get this floor built, what I'm going to do is move, like, kind of shift over our roof to here so we have more space to put more guns. Now, you might think, like, well, Juice, why why don't you just spread the guns out? And that's a, it's a valid question. The, the thing is that the guns will become targeted by the... Uh, land animals that attack and so in order for the power clam to still be effective we need to continue you know siphoning them into leading them into the uh, flamethrower area and so if you have guns around the edges they will just stop here and start attacking the concrete and then you'll just have bugs spread out all around the base and that's a real pain in the butt pepper 10 how you doing? Are you riding high on life because you got a new job? Heck yeah, bud. Proud of you, pips. Overlapping foundations. How dare you? Why not? What are you waiting for? Sign it all. Sign it immediately. Don't even question what you're signing. Just do it. It hasn't been sent over. What are they waiting for? We do have some more research to do. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, spaghettios. The boss is out of town. Got it. All right, so one thing we need to learn is uh, carbon rooms to put a nice carbon floor here. I, I could make it out of metal. I could maybe make it out of concrete. It has to be very strong. Um, and we have carbon, plenty of it. Very, so it has to be very strong support. So it could be, it could be concrete. We've got plenty of concrete. We'll just do concrete. It's fine. Okay, so we didn't need to destroy these stairs, but that's okay. It's just it's a little little uh, rebuild, no big deal. Ken's all over it. 
You're working on getting your life in order so I'm ready and rested and have a good headspace when I start. That's very responsible of you. Flip plops. So what kind of duties and hours does this new job entail? And does it come with things like benefits? And you're doing great. Don't ever stop. We're on the doorstep of orbital communication. We just need to build this satellite, finish that floor, and then turn everything on. Heck yeah, buds. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's get off this rock. Pitied Ken for their old clothes. Ain't nobody pitying Ken. What you talking about, Willis? Do we not have carbon armor? We don't have carbon armor. Heck. Hopefully we find some research. Yoko has pneumonia. Pneumonia. We don't have a lot of food. It feels like. I guess it is winter time. Where did all the bug meat go that we collected? Didn't we collect a bunch of bug meat from these bugs made of meat? And attacks. So only 195 humming flies this time because they're bringing friends. 16 brood mothers. That's not very nice. Nova. gotta keep everybody around the base like we can't let Simon run off and start cutting things wait I thought isn't Krista Chris is supposed to sleep with Han, right? Aren't they lovers? Fiance of Simon. That's what I meant. That got messed up somehow. We're gonna do our best. Wait a second. Who's over here? Han! How did Han get over here? I thought I was being pretty good about keeping track of people. Ha. 
on. Hurry up. Oh my god. Well, Han's out of the bite, out of the fight. What a mess! Ah! Come on, Space Quest. Okay, well that was a lot, but we did it. <laughs> and we only lost two guns that time. That's pretty good. Squeeze Anna. Uh, Bird has a interesting question for you, I believe. How you doing today, Squeeze? Hey, go van. Old goggle vans. Katina, Space Squad's got this berserk. Look at you punching the shelf, Squeezy. It's chill in here. People are quiet, but that's fine. We're easing in. Um, we're trying to get off this base, off this planet, and we're close to starting to be able to shuttle people off, and that's exciting. But now the flyers are starting to attack, which increases the difficulty quite a bit. But so far, so good. Somebody needs to heal Squeezy. There we go. Nova's all over it. You're good today. Did you do the haircuts? Day off today and, and tomorrow. Nice. What you been playing? Hey, Ken, can we repair the laser turret? Before we do the floor? Played a bunch of Terra Nil earlier today. Um, Sunhaven has sucked Govan in. I looked at or I saw Zam showed like the trailer of that game. Looks a little Stardewy from like my one you know 20 second glance at it. I 
Terra Nil's the one where you just nurse the planet back to health, right? With the power of Captain Planet. That's cool. It's like a reverse city builder. All right. All right. It's getting cold out. It's winter time. It's eight degrees freedom units outside. Krista is cutting wood. I don't know how much more wood we need, but I, you know, I'm just going to say it. Let's just stop. Like, it doesn't mean you can't go pick up the wood. There's just so much of it already on the ground, you know? Too cold for sewing. Better harvest this energy crystal field before they all go bad, Squizoo. I don't know what you do with the ener energy crystals, but we've gotten this far, so we better keep going. Uh, charged crystals used in the production of power cells. So there you have it. This is brand new. Hi, Vid. I'm trying to finish up this play, this playthrough, man, which I started before the new thing. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, the flyers, the flyers. Han, oh my God, he's so far away. He already got caught out once in the last battle. Krista handling the furnace. All right, this is fine. Nova, no scavenge. No scavenge. No scavenge, no cry. Why don't y'all just have take it? You should sit and relax. It's fine. It's great. Um. Right, let's get. Let's just get out here. We have some enemies. Amnies. Is everybody? I guess it's everybody. Like that too much. They followed Han home before. Well, he was just late to the party last battle and took a bunch of damage. Running in through 200 flyers, you know? I assume you've played the new stuff. How do you like it? Did Squeezy go down? Oh my god, we're getting crushed. Oh my god, Squeezy has no health. You have two health points, Squeezy. This is not good. This is quite bad, in fact. Alright. Note to self. Let them target the guns before running out here next time. Um,
just looking for the low the low ones that have an angle shooting underneath the roof you know Alright, there's only 20 flyers left they're not shooting through the roof are they uh, they kind of have an angle I guess weird I hope it's that booty I hope so too Katie you like it I might even be able to play hard good yeah I'm curious I'm curious to try it out Uh, that was a mess. Luckily, so the good thing about the flyers, if there is a good thing, is that they don't cause bleed damage. So even though Squeezie's at two health, she's not going to continue to deteriorate. Like if she were bleeding, she'd be dead by now. Um, but in this case, we're okay. It's not ideal, but we're okay. So now we can take Ken you know, rescue somebody. We can take Chris to rescue somebody. And that leaves uh, Yoko, Han, and Nova. And we just basically need to go clean up. The rest of these dang bugs. Katie, how you doing, Katie? Tough showed up and then immediately ignored me, so I can't tell if she was on break or if she was home today. You got home from another interview, how'd it go? I wanted cuddles after interview. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. It felt good. Good, I'm glad. I hope you get it. Pip's got a new job. So, you know, if Pips can do it, you can do it. I mean, I mean, you know. Okay. We, 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 you know, I don't, I know we're not going to get it, but a little break from being attacked would be welcome. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, game. Just a little respite would be okay. Considering we can barely walk with all these burns. So what are, like, of the jobs that you interviewed for, are any of them, like better than the rest? Is there something that you're specifically excited about? Ah, oh, they got one of my solar panels. It's bastards. Bastardos. We are very close to leaving the planet. Um, we need to build this or or orbital antenna and we need to finish our landing pad, landing spot. Then we can turn it on. And once we turn on everything, then it's basically a matter of time. Uh, it's gonna take a while to shuttle everybody off. Essentially what it'll contact uh, passing by spaceships that have a chance uh, to send you down a single person rescue craft so you can kind of shuttle them off one by one not every ship will do that sometimes they will either ignore you or they will send you resources um, instead so it will still take a while particularly because we have seven people 
um but we'll do our best and then in the meantime it's it's continuing to fight off the bugs and do all the things you just have less people to do the work so it gets a little bit um it gets a lot bit harder towards the end why is Kane Ken fainted in the middle of the door because he's worked so hard um to to build and fight and to save squeezy's life and now he's exhausted himself and the sad part is that no one has gotten up to help him even even though he's the one that helps everyone else with his un, unselflessness with his selflessness not with his unselflessness Poor Ken. Yeah. Yeah, Ken gets a bum rap, dude. Ken is a saint. Look at Krista. Just sad wander. That's it. Just woe is me. I'm so sad. Misha. Ken is the Ken is the problem. Ken's amazing. Han is starvating. Hmm. It's mild. It's mild starvatingness. What are you getting, bud? Sticks? Hmm. Apparently we're low on the stick game. Hundred and eighty carbon nanotubes just hanging out right here. Did you eat, dude? All right, good. Um, yeah, let's let him settle into it. <laughs> Emmy from Minnesota. That's not true, Emmy. This is slander. Once again, Ken is in severe pain outside in the cold, repairing the defenses because he cares more about protecting his friends than he does about his own comfort. Where's Han right now? Feeling sorry for himself. Oh, I'm sad. I don't like it. Oh, but I have a sad boy meltdown and not be productive. And look at Ken slaving away. I want these bugs to go away <laughs> and I want them to go away without me having to butcher anything because that just is dumb and it takes too long is this too much to ask I don't think so I don't think it's too much to ask good job build def rebuilding the defenses Ken you're doing great, Ken. Ken, you're amazing. Out here in the muck and the colds, the bug guts and the stench of death surrounds you, but you still don't have sad boy wander time. You have repair time because Ken knows the danger that still lurks out in the wilderness. The bugs never sleep, neither does Ken, unless he goes to sleep, in which case it's very strategic sleeping and only out of necessity because he understands the limitation of the human body.
We're making pantaloons. All right, Simon, I see you. Did we get all of our bandages? Yep, yeah, we sure did. And healing balms. Oh, we don't have any healing balms, but we also don't have any mushrooms. Heck. Hmm. Not ideal. Ken, you've just, you've earned yourself a little hand pan time. Let's go. Look at him jam out too. He's the kind of guy that's not afraid to express himself through the through the artistry of song and music. My name is Ken, and I want you to be happy. I only relax because I care about you. How does this wait? How does this glove stick to their hand? I've never noticed this before. Well, that one doesn't even stick. It's like just the outside part. Maybe there's like some sticky tape or something. Chev is are Chev, are you on team Ken with me now? Have you had have you have you had a change of heart, Chev? We accept you. Welcome to Team Ken. You will be sent a hat and a shirt. That's fine, we'll take it. It doesn't really matter why. Hello, Moo. Oh, God. 312. Awesome. Ken is a delight. Just Ken like is a delight. Oh, no. Space Squares is out here with the sad wander. Oh, yeah. Squeezy's on Team Ken now, too. Well, I'm moving out. <laughs> we found the line. Um, all right. Squeezy, I'm going to give you the option because this is effectively you. You're out here having a sad time, cry, 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 baby moment. Um, you have three options as I see it. Number one, well, you have two options. Number one, we leave you be and maybe you snap out of it. And maybe you don't. It's not necessarily that you're going to die. They'll just burn you to a crisp and then you'll lie there with two health or maybe you'll die. The other option is we send someone out to to cause you brain <laughs> to knock you out and then dr and then you'll either be on the ground when they'll ignore you or we'll, we'll bring you back to a bed. It's your choice. If you choose number two, it's not a 100% chance that it's going to work. You may end up knocking somebody else out. Um, knock me out. All right. Who would you like to be sent to do this very important job? They're not all equal. Ken. So your your point is that you need somebody exceptionally capable and the most capable person that you see is Ken. Interesting. Huh. Well, how about that? Once again, Ken has come through for us. Where's Nova? Everybody in base. All right, good. I think uh, Squeezy owes Ken a little apology. Just saying. Now's not the time, Han. Now's not the time, Nova. Okay. Hmm. 
What is it, Pips? You didn't answer my question earlier about benefits. Do you get benefits? Do you get a 401k? Health and dental? Oh my god, would you guys keep moving? so many gosh dang flying bugs right now. two turrets that time maybe the, the the corpse bodies that are piling up are somehow providing us with additional defense maybe the flyers are seeing their their comrades corpses on the ground and are somehow demoralized because they feel fear your care package oh I thought maybe you checked your email and got your job details, but care packages are good, too. I'm glad you got it, bud. I hope it's everything you ever dreamed of. Wait, you don't know about your benefits you accepted the job before understanding what you were signing up for oops you know what you live your life i'm not your dad it's fine it'll be fine it's better than not having a job i suppose beep bop boop beep boop boop oh you haven't officially accepted yet got it so you have negotiation time does, is the industry standard for what you're doing? Because this is like, you're like being a personal assistant, right? I would assume that they pay a living wage and would give you health benefits, but maybe not. I don't know. Burning cruise vessel. Let's do it. I like burning cruise vessels. That's a weird statement. I like exploring burning cruise vessels. Not in love with the fact that somebody on a cruise might have been burned to death and then crashed onto an alien planet. There's no industry standard. Hmm. Hmm. Tanking. Got a tank. Optimus Prime. All right, here we go. Solar flares, 22 affected devices. How dare. Um, let's get somebody else on building. Who else can build? Nobody. <laughs> Han, it's time to start building. You can learn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you think this country works the way it's supposed to? Uh, I don't think it hurts to ask. Will I be surprised if <laughs> if it doesn't? No. But am I hopeful that in Hollywood, where people are allegedly a little bit more... Uh, Uh, 
cognizant of the struggles of people that maybe uh, they make a point of paying living wages and giving appropriate benefits. I'm hopeful, you know? It's an expensive place to live. So hopefully everybody understands that. You can laugh, Pips, but also, you know, I don't know, man. Don't waste. Look for survivors. We didn't find any survivors. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think it hurts to to be hopeful. Says the guy doing this. Um, desperation. Well, well, more like desire to be in that industry for whatever reason. I don't know that people are desperate and then decide that Hollywood is the place to go. They have a dream and they chase it. The problem is, you know, people take advantage of that. But I would, my point is more like if you are the personal assistant for somebody who is wealthy, hopefully oh, then nice. there may be a chance that they actually treat you with like human dignity versus, uh, you know, some studio or something. Hi, boppers. Hello, Corky. Thanks for the lurk. It's okay, you're not missing anything. Just some Ken heroics as usual. I'm a little nervous about metal. We don't have any more. We don't have any more metal. Um, which is a problem because we need it for things like repairing turrets. Oh God. And we have more aggressive animals. Okay. All right then. You should have time to get that wood and come back. How are them shoulders, BB? They're good, but tired. I thought you weren't going to get lunch today. What happened? Glad you got lunch. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Who let Simon go all the way out? Gosh, dang it. Disappointed.
Maybe they'll keep missing because it's so dark out. Don't stop. Don't stop moving, you ding dong. Oh, God. And Simon's down. All right, but at least he's not dead. All right. Uh, let's get the crew out here. See, this is the problem. Running out of metal. We're going to get more metal. Eleknor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello. Come on. Come on. Come over here. Come over here. You can do it. Nah, you dummies. I don't want any of this. I want salvage. Bum, 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 bum. Are the bugs in this game nastier or nicer than the ones in the move, movie Starship Troopers? Really, that everybody, a lot of people make that uh, comparison, and I think they're about the same. I think I think that it, it basically is Starship Troopers. Everybody's awaiting treatment. No one gets treatment. Hi, Pips cat. I'm assuming that's your cat. Cat dad's a monster. Cat dad's a monster. Dance, dance. Wait, why is Kid dead the monster? I mean, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just wondering why he's, he is this time. When you violate your NDA, you should tell the person you're talking to so they don't accidentally F things up. Wait, what? <laughs> why is Pips going to violate her NDA? Gosh. On. You know, we should send Ken. We can't afford to send Ken, but he would get double the, the scrap. Uh, Simon is still getting treated. Oh, yeah, we don't have any uh, healing balm. And there's a little bit of floater cap out here. Don't cut it. Harvest it. Mind your business. I mean, is it not my business? Okay. You're right, Moro. Cat Dad is a monster. 
Well, Ken's even stopping to heal Simon. This is not great. If you're Simon, you're feeling real bad right now. <laughs> like, real bad. Oh, no. Missing resources. This is bad. It's not good. It's really not good. Uh, okay. Well, what we can do is start contacting. Stop. Can Han build this? Yeah, start working on that, dude. We So we have different ways to collect metal, right? Um, there are ore deposits in various spots on the map. Uh, we have to identify them and then they can be mined. It's not the easiest process, but we can do it. Right? Um... And I'm going to turn off just like rock chunks because we have those. We can go on expeditions to collect scrap. And we can also, when we contact spaceships, they may be willing to send us scrap metal. Those are the three that pop out of my brain. There may be other ways to do it as well. Um, so we just need to get on that and just make sure that when we're mining, we're not mining stone, that we're mining ore. There's a synthetic vest out here? For Pete's sake. It's probably been there for ages. Ages. Ore deposit. We got a spaceship up here. So let's get some cruise ship or uh, expeditions going. Um, I got a second boop in my new pack of cards. Double the shoulds. Now you can put one under under your pillow on both sides, so it feels like you're being spooned on either side by the shoulds. Turn on. That is on. This needs to be on. And we have a landing pad. This is weird. Ah, I see what happened. Ken is a delight, just like web. Yeah. Kendall Southwick, also a delight. Game. Oh, that was weird. I don't get stutters in this game, like, ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
There's ore right there. Feet away from our base. What is going on with this game right now? Oh, is that what's happening? Are they loading in the hungry pests? Just restarting. Cat daddy boo. What boops? I mean, what cat daddy? Over 800, almost 900. The most I've gotten is 1,040 something. 43, I think. And that was pretty painful. Now Just took forever. Thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, I see it here. At least it's the Scarab Beetles. But yeah, this is going to be in slow motion for a while. What did she do? What am I missing? I'm so confused. Did something happen in Discord? Did she say a bad joke? She likes Ken. I am Ken is Ken is a delight. Why wouldn't she like Ken? Of course she likes Ken. Hey, we scavenged 47 metal. Um... Cilantro is delicious. I, I, like, legitimately just feel bad for people who have that soap gene. Anomalous animal behavior. I do not like that. In the middle, like... <laughs> so, so, like, adding 73 more animals to the 873 that already are spawning into existence. Awesome. Love that for us. Um, okay. Well. We'll just, uh, we'll let this play out for a little bit. Cilantro is so far down on this burritos ingredient list. Why didn't you just have them take out the cilantro if you don't like it. You didn't want to be high maintenance. You are such a Minnesotan, Emmy. My wife is the same way. I'm my wife. Oh, it was pre-made. You'd think with how slow it's going, I could actually just click on Simon. Some of these turrets probably have a line of sight. Yeah, a laser beam. Yeah, there we go. This is speed three, everybody. You don't want to see speed one right now. Actually, it might be exactly the same. Yeah, pretty much. It's going slower than speed one, so it doesn't really matter. I 
can't tell a difference switching between one and three. Once the 800 something bugs actually fully spawn and spread out, it will get a little bit better. In my experience. Whoop! Spaceship detected. Yeah, see, it's got it gets a little bit better. Yes, give me the rescue pod. It's not a big surprise that no ship can take us all at once. That is kind of a big surprise. And we'll have to evacuate one by one. We'll have to make some tough choices. Who goes and who stays? I'll stay right now because I'm Ken. And I can defend better than the rest. And I volunteer to go last because I'm selfless. And I'm here to save everyone else around me because I'm Ken and I'm the best. Hi, Platt. And then they get crushed by the... <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, watch out. There's a big salt pepper or salt shaker that landed. All right. Salt pepper. There's an assault pepper. They destroyed my floor. Hunt air. actually hitting Yoko? I think it is. Rude. At least we're a little bit too close to the edge on these things. Heckin' space cows. Ah, oh, jeez. Ken will save the day. Are you shooting the hungry pests? Okay.
Uh, we want Space Squeezy. We definitely want Can. Nova. Simon, Yoko, Krista, Han. Yeah, it's probably Krista. Are we still being attacked? Why is the why is the why is the battle music playing? We're not being attacked. We're not in a fight anymore, right? Okay. Are those things bugs? Are those bugs? They are space cow. Space cows. And they are normally docile, but when you activate the antenna dishes, the orbital antennae, then they it aggros. Oh. It aggros the regular animals and whips them up into a frenzy. It's a whole thing. Scavenging. All right, one down, six to go. We're in speed three. This is the best we're gonna get for a little while. Eventually these bugs will go away. It'll be it'll be better. At least it's you know reasonable right now. Not great, but reasonable. Um We're still trying to get metal to repair our guns. And in fact I want to build some more guns, <laughs> which just seems like a pipe dream at this point. Another spaceship? What does it mean? All right. Unmanned maintenance vessel that can't take any passengers. However, the AI is instructed to offer help in the form of spare parts. We will take the four CPU cores, please. We're always short on CPU cores. Actually, we're not. We got five, but it doesn't matter. We'll take them anyway. We could use some electronics next time, I suppose. Oh, let's turn off crafting armors because that takes metal and we have a not we should be fine like we're probably not going to be here long enough to need more than what we already have in storage which is what three sets two sets two and a half sets um and everybody else's armor is reasonably new, for the most part. Minus Ken's hat! It's springtime. Oh, where's Ken? He's repairing the floor. Simon! John and Kendall, you got treats? The boss was defeated. We are the best ever. Congratulations. Ooh, this is the last map of this event. You're welcome, Kendall, as always. Simon put on a t-shirt.
fantastic, terrific, great. Hey, Legacy. How you doing, buddy? Ooh, wah, wah. Let's kick some ass, kick some ass. Who's number one? We are. Who's number two? Who gives a f All right. T-shirt, T-shirts all around except for Nova. Everybody else is assigned. The bugs are everywhere. Everything is slow, but we're fine. We need metal. We need all the metal. We have a little bit of scrap. We have some metal inside the things. I am a little paranoid about turning off the sensors, but I don't want to aggro. You had turned it up enough. Oh, that's pretty good music. I haven't changed the audio, I don't think, for what it's worth. But no worries. just need to remember to turn it back on help me remember please please as soon as we see a threat or as soon as these bugs disappear we have to turn the sensors back on or we shall die It's uh, Space Cowboys, just like Firefly. Everybody likes Firefly, right? Cut the other one, too. Don't forget to con cut Ken's ACL. What? Moro! Chev is on uh, Team Ken now. And Squeezy signed up, too. There's no, there's no backsies. She said it. It was out there in space. We've all seen it. Nova's back. Back with more scrap. He said there was merch. Uh, I sent you merch. Did you not get it? There's even pictures of Cat Dad in the merch. In the, in the Juices TV care package. I could make Ken merch. We'll get a Ken sticker. <laughs> when we make new stickers, I'll get a Ken sticker. You can stop taking pics of Cat Dead sleeping. But I'm just waiting for the nip slip. This is so slow. Why is this game like this? I guess we could go shoot them to thin out the herd to make it go faster. But at 861, it just feels like it doesn't matter. 
for being honest. Han, I like what you're doing here. A pro Ken sticker. Every, well, of course, they're all going to be pro Ken stickers. I would never make an anti Ken sticker. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to be anti Ken. It makes sense to be anti Grayson. Ken is a delight, just like Web. Yeah. Gwen is excited about the Ken sticker. But you're going to have to lurk here more so that you can get a care package, Gwen. Yeah, it's on triple speed. It spawned in 861 hungry pests. So everything crawls for a little while until they disappear. What's in the care packages? Um, stickers, magnets, a pack of Juistopia cards, a handwritten note telling you how awesome you are, and um, if you have any doodles, I mail the doodles. And then I have some bonus doodles that I'm mailing out for people that don't. So we have like some doodles that were done either with no recipient, like some of the early ones where I didn't write the name on it and now no one knows who they belong to. Or it's like scratch art that I've just done like while watching shows and it just doesn't have any, you know, like here, have a doodle. Um, and then we have some that the community made during JuiceCon. So like, I have some Misha doodles and Tough and Govan and Waffles and Verkachol. So yeah, I, I'll send something in there. It just won't be like a doodle that you commissioned if you don't have one. And I have many other doodles that are in what I consider to be like an abandoned pile from people that just I haven't seen in chat for years and probably never will again and i don't know if any of those are things that people would want but they're available too will i get a note about being awesome yes everyone who gets a care package gets a note about being awesome They're going away. We're back to speed three. It's weird to me that when they're all just moving away, now we're back up to speed. But when they're milling about, somehow that makes everything chug. Well, nope, now we're chugging again. It's so weird. That needs to be optimized somehow. Or they just not they just need to never do that again because it's pointless. Okay, turn these back on. It just doesn't do any, it doesn't serve any purpose. It doesn't matter if they're 800 or 200, right? Like, if the goal is that they kind of eat your crops and are a nuisance, 200 is enough. You could cap it. It doesn't need to scale up to over a thousand. There's no point. You don't have that many crops. Does it bug you? I see what you did there. And the answer is yes. And now I'm doubly bugged because of the joke. And now we have 291 flyers. We've gotten nothing done. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Yoko's coming back to base. Wheezy Ken. Nova, Simon. Hans repairing turrets. Uh, Ken. Where's Ken? Uh, we're missing resources. Heck. All right. Well.
No one's out in the wild, right? They're all here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? I'm paranoid. I'm like legitimately paranoid about people leaving. All right. This is going to be a little touchy. And the problem is it's going to leave us. We're going to live, but it's going to leave us really vulnerable to the following attacks. Come on. Too tired. Everybody's dying. Wake up. Why can't Simon be moved? That's weird. Oh my God, you guys. Now is not the time to fall asleep. Unbelievable. To be fair, though, I did make Ken not go to bed so he could repair that one turret. Notice me, senpai. Ooh, woo. <laughs> how dare you. Moro, how dare. Okay. Sorry. His redemption came in. Uh, re uh, compliment over sensitive snake. Uh, Boopers is, uh, good friend amazing shoulders the best can do positive attitude that uh, a sidekick could ask for and she ain't bad looking either and she's a cowboy did you know a coward sounds like cowherd and that would make me a cowboy which means i'm not scared Easy on the eyes, boulders on the shoulders. That's right. Squeeze Anna wants emotes only. Get her butts out. I don't even know how to do this. Boom. Of course, VIPs are immune to this, but... They could play along, cat dad. Squeezy goes immediately to Shwed Gang. It's a bold choice. Insufficient medicine, that's what's going on. All right, Space Squeezy, I need you to harvest the Glitter Cap field. Ooh. 
It's rain and scrap. Hallelujah, it's rain and scrap. Isn't just Moro. It's a gay it's a team effort right now, Cat Dead. This is Squeezy's redemption that you're ruining. No one else cares, Cat Dead. Only Squeezy. Mods are taking it upon themselves to police this very seriously. I have nothing to do with it. Just for the record. Go marry Ken or something, Moro. Wow. Wow. Imagine. No, God. Oh, at least they're on the ground. There's no flyers this time. We've been saved. All right. Ugh. That's still a fair number of bugs. Uh, give me the scrap. Ken, uh, get down here. Han. Refuel? Um, whatever keeps you in the base. Don't salvage. Come on, man. Uh, but you're a humming fly. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, that's a job. Butcher. Butcher the humming flies. Ken. Butcher humming flies, please. Let's. There we go. Speed one. Why is it so fast? Maybe I've just been, uh, it's like when you get off one of those moving walkways at the airport and all of a sudden you feel like you're the Terminator. We've been going so slow that all of a sudden you feel like the flash. We shoot. Can we shoot the bugs? Shoot the bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them better. Shoot them gooder. Gooder shooting time. Time for good. Get, shoot good time. Time to murder the bugs. They feel fear. Let's go. Shoot them but good before they shoot you. Whoa. Huh. 
Han just took a shot. Deep puncture in his left arm. good we didn't lose any turrets i like it simon is healing han we got mushrooms which means we can create yep yoko's doing it crafting the balm which we need i cranked that up right yeah i put it to 30 to be okay all right, hi, Wabba Rabba Rab. There's so much violence in chat, I feel unsafe. Oh no. Don't worry, Ken will save you. Five or just sitting here. I lost it. Uh oh. I grabbed Han instead of Yoko. What was Han doing? Oh well. Yeah, well. What are you gonna do? Alright, we have some metal brewing. That's good. Um, limit reached. That's weird. Okay. There shouldn't be a limit on metal yeah Tarrant how you doing buddy it's good to see you pal That scrap metal, buds. Yeah. Two hundred scrap. I like it. I like it a lot. Hi, Quirk. You also I reminded him. Uh, I did. Yeah. I turned him on, Keta. Thank you. Corky. 
how was your workout and your wrestling practice? Scrap metal. Get the scrap metal. Good job. <laughs> no. Four chickens. Space ostriches are coming at you. So weird. <laughs> I've never understood this one where you just randomly get four space ostriches that will aggro. Like, what are they going to do? I don't understand. It's comical. I mean, maybe they do something against other sorts of defenses that people employ. I don't know. Maybe it's so you could tame them. When you've dug yourself such a deep hole, you didn't even know. Wow. Is this the end of Cat Dead and Gwen's will they won't they relationship? Is Squeezy even enough to bridge the, the gap, the widening chasm that exists between these two characters? We don't know. My dad is concerned. Look at that face. Where did you get a Ryu champ tw Twitch? I guess everybody has it if it's Twitch Global. Um. All right. Hey, look. There's no more bugs on our base. That's good. Uh, it's, you can clearly see our lack of guns. All right. Um, we do, however need to handle things better. Are we at a st Why aren't these going? I have confusion. Hmm. It's weird. Was good. Practice was just lat drops. That sounds not fun, but okay. <laughs> Congratulations on be bearing witness that, bearing that witness, being be, being a party to that violence. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about. Hi, Nova. Hello. Can we just... I know we don't really need to grab those, but can we just, though? Like, I get it, but can we just... There's some screaming upstairs. These dang kids. You're doing great, Nova. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. Get that power. Heck yeah, buds. Give me escape pod. It worked. All right. Uh, I think it's probably space squares is time to go. I want. It's either Space Quaz or Yoko, I think. Or Simon. 
Simon is cooking. Eh. We'll send space quests. Let's save the best of us. She's a good healer, though. It's fine. Any one of these options is perfectly acceptable. It's uh, required that you Donald Duck it when going... Didn't I already do this? Manamana. Yoko is going to sleep. You've got mail. Oh, thank you. Ah, the happy noise of guns being repaired. Oh, we're done with this. We don't need to craft more synthetic. Um, we will need sweaters. Insect nest. We scavenged more stuff. Scrap. Heck yeah, we did. But from where? Must have already brought it home? Question mark. Or it's up the hill. And it's just sitting here somewhere. Why is there a railgun sniper right here? That's weird. I have not done any of the new stuff yet, except for planting these blue crystals. I am going to do it. I'm just, I'm not in a rush. It's fine. I was kind of thinking about doing it off stream last night, but I figured I'd save it for the contents. Ken, Taylor, that stuff. You're doing great. It'd be better if you were preparing, though, for being honest. Um, actually, this is a good point. Ken is a delight, just like web. Yeah, it is. Hey, Aislin, how you doing? It's good to see you. Aggressive animals. Oh, this is good. They're all on land. 
good guy game giving us a break. Two hundred and ten. Uh, that's like three hundred bugs. Easy enough. The splodies are gonna cause damage to the the flamethrowers, which is mildly annoying. But Seslavi, as they say en français. It's 7 p.m. I can go to sleep now. No. No, Moro. What? 7 p.m.? I've been playing Farthest Frontier off stream a little bit. And uh, I forgot. I, I cranked up the difficulty, I think. I forgot that that game is like a real slow burn at the beginning, but it's fun. Like a good colony builder, city builder, whatever it is. The, the categories are starting to blur in my brain. Medieval city builder. Burning cruise vessel, another one? Let's do it. Getting one million space bucks. Insane chaos. Dude, all right, how about you? I got home from work. Potluck? What did you bring? What was the best thing that you ate there? And how much of it had maple syrup in it? That's a, that's a Canadian thing. A joke. Because you're Canadian. You get it? If you need me to explain it to you in Canadian, let me know. I can translate. Uh, Han, did we not? We never gave you a t-shirt? Forgot to give Han a t-shirt. What? Well, Ken is also not in a t-shirt. And Nova's not in a t-shirt. Didn't we do the t-shirt changeover at some point? Must have missed it. Hey. 
spaceship. Uh, give me synthetic armor. We can break it down if we need to. <laughs> Extreme heat wave. Oh no. Zero maple. I made cornbread. My favorite thing that I ate was some chili someone made. Oh, nice. I could go for some chili. Hmm. How do I obtain chili? I could go to the store. The store has chili. I mean, I'm not going to make it myself. That's insane. But I could definitely buy it at the store. If Gooey Bear was here, he'd probably make me ch chili. Gooey, would you make me chili? Expedition complete. Burning cruise vessel. Look for survivors. Good luck. I actually don't want any survivors. I don't know why I did that. Um, that's just uh, instinctive at this point to always look for survivors. You'll make some chili. Now tell me about your chili, Chev. Your Chevy chili. Chili con carnage. Hold on a second, I'm gonna go yell at the children. Back to the Juices TV program, your best friend on the internet. All right, first card. Oh my gosh, it's a crocodile! Hello, <laughs> it's a me, Juices TV. Let's go to the stash cam. Uh, hello, uh, lady. I would like to uh, take you out on a date to uh, where's a classy Olive Garden. We're going to have endless breadsticks and, and salad and cards. Now this one is worth twice as much because it has stash DNA all over it. Every week, Michael writes in his journal, maybe this is the week they'll take D&D seriously. And it will never yeah. be the week that we take D&D seriously. I'm sorry. Right, maybe, right, maybe next time, Yeah, maybe Michael. next time, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I'm not that self deluded We roll the one on snark. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal, right? So much Lodi. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So much Lodi. It's like when you say so much Lodi. Because it, yeah, it rhymes. It. I've got the juice. He's, He's got, got the juice. juice. She just went to the spaceship. <laughs> I told you on the garden. And we're in the garden waiting. And I see you beaming up like a dumb E.T. Would you jump back down? I don't want to. <laughs> She's stalling. It's like five more minutes. All right, look. Fine. Let's finish our objectives. Come on, tough. We're gonna go do our objectives right now. First one is we have to go underground. Well, she's right here. Son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, uh, Katie's here. Hey. And some unnecessary sideways jostling. Hold on, we have to practice. Is. All right, everybody, go left. In your seats. Nope, nope, left. No, left. Right. Not right. Other other left. Oh. Oh, now it's back this way. Oh god. And and yes. now oh, oh we're back over here. Oh. <laughs> Golden Wink. wing banana. <laughs> Golden wing banana. <laughs> I like that song. Time to just jump into this water. I'll jump in. We'll see if you live or not. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh god, don't do it. Did you guys live? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. I love how all three of us jumped in. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll have to check him later. It's fine. Just to make sure. Oh, no. No, thank you. Uh. No. So we'll show it to them. <laughs> Did you just get a little scared? <laughs> we'll show it to them. And I jumped a little. Stop crying! Stop crying and start healing! Oh no. The baby deer caught the flare in the head? Oh, oh no. Oh, right through the ear. Well, oh, and it's wiggling. Yeah, it's... Oh, and then you stabbed it. Yeah, well, look. I'm back, thanks to your patience. Wendy's chili is 9 out of 10. 9 to 10 out of 10, I'll die on this hill. I, I don't mind Wendy's chili. The problem with it is that I know it's made with the old hamburger patties. Which isn't necessarily a problem. It's just in the back of my mind. Go Chu Jang for most of I don't know what that is, Chev. But if it tastes good, I'm in. I I like chili that has meat in it and not too many beans. But some beans, just not too many beans. Personally. I will still eat it if the flavor is good, but I tend to upset my tummy. Too many vegetables. Mm -mm. Ken is repairing the gate. Okay, call call me Ved. You worked at Wendy's? I believe you. Chaotic fiend. It takes a week to get them back to the plant to make into chili. Oh, so they're more than a day old. Got it. Put it in the air fryer. You gotta put it. You gotta put it in the air fryer. Where are these stupid things? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I know where the stupid things are. Space cows. At least they're attacking from the right angle. So I uploaded the first playthrough of this to YouTube, and it's like the first thing I've uploaded to YouTube on my channel in I don't know how long. Long enough that I forgot that our Discord bot would actually call it out and assume that it was like PUBG videos. Um, anyway, it got a copyright. It's not really a strike, but it got the in people in Russia cannot view the video specifically because of the up up and away balloon sounder that lasts all of six seconds um number one okay <laughs> like sorry Russia you don't get my C plus content but number two what the hell Russia You don't think the balloon is beautiful? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Russia's government. I'm some of the people are perfectly fine. I mean, you know, what does Russia have against the? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's what I want to know. Is it is it politically motivated? Do they think that it's like some sort of an LGBT anthem because it's got a balloon? And it's a beautiful balloon. I like, I just can't imagine. Is it not at all sinister? And it just happens to be some really weird, like that song just doesn't, there's just no rights. I, you know, like, I don't know. And if it's, and if it's long enough to be detected by the, the robots, 
shouldn't it be stricken everywhere and not just Russia? I don't have the rights to that song. I'm just saying, it raised a lot of interesting questions and it doesn't ultimately matter whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, interesting. All balloon songs are now 99 red balloons. You have the right to no rights. Erthos, I miss your face. Hello. All right, we have two Tekken guns left. To repair. Repair. Um, let's go cruise ship. Let's go to the cruise ship. Actually, you know what? Let's send Ken. He gets double scrap and Han can repair things in Ken's absence. Be safe, Ken. In Soviet Russia, balloon ups you. <laughs> I mean, you figured with all the weather balloon situation, it'd be more like not viewable in China. Although, honestly, is YouTube viewable in China? I don't even know. Of, you're out of control. Uh... Simon is cooking. You're doing it, Simon. You're my boy, Blue. Sinful underscore underscore potato. Hello. Get pop catted. Is that what it's called? Pop cat? I don't know the cool kid stuff. Honor the dead. Yeah, you can honor the dead. Why not? It's just Sora, and it's because she didn't eat. And although the game is very good about telling me when people have life-threatening hypothermia, it doesn't tell me when people are starving to death. It just is like, somebody's starving, and then you don't hear about it again, and you just kind of assume it got taken care of. Um, because, you know, there's food, and then they die, and you're just like, okay, well, you had that coming. That's how I feel about it. It would have been nice to have Sora, though, for being honest. Day of the Dead, yes. Scavenge things, yes. Good, excellent. Um, and Lays Animo. Uh, Yoko's coming back. Everybody's coming back. All right. An Apache helicopter has Emmy, machine er, guns and Emmy. missiles. It is an Can unbelievably their lunches impressive no, what? complement what? of weaponry. An A slander, Emmy. It's slander. Ken is a delight. Uh, no, don't go scavenging. Nova, don't go mining. Sleep in this bed. It's Ken's bed. You'll keep it warm for Ken. Our delightful Ken. When he gets back, his bed will be oh nice God, and warm. <laughs> or McGurby uh, Gerbs. Was Zam here? What just happened? Was starving one of the options? Wait, what? I forgot to tell you, turn my truck on today, and the first thing I hear from the radio is the cost of eating out has gone up, and I about lost it. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, SJ! Shoot, he's handsome. Thank you, Gwen. I try. Alley poops. Handsome. What's wrong with me? What do you mean? Oh, well, now I feel bad. Yeah, one time saw Ken take Katie for a baby. It's not true. It's not true. That's weird of. Looks Juices like. Is a jerk face. Juices is a jerk face. Juices is a jerk face. Juices is a jerk face. Not exactly nice. I'm, I'm not really surprised that you would do this, but it's not nice, you know? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Did Ken give COVID to hell? I thought it was Moro. Cat Dad, Gwen is very upset with you right now. And I don't think you're respecting this situation enough. Oh, we got big, big old bugs coming in. Big, big old bugs. Don't deflect it. That's rude. Don't deflect my bullets. Accept my bullets. They're super good bullets. They're the top, top quality bullets. Um, no, oh God, no, don't move. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one liked it. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill it. Kill it dead. Focus fire. Why do I feel like we're not focus firing enough? Hmm. What do I even have an angle on right now? This guy? did it fam see a vid stream elements doesn't want of to redeem sounds stream elements sometimes is broken and sometimes just very intuitive I'm just saying whoop Cat daddy, cat daddy, boo. Ken is a delight, just like web. Hmm? One of the alternators failed, and so we took it to maintenance, and there was a note in the engine cowling that said Ken was here. That is that is something that you 100% would have taken a, a picture of if that were true. I want to believe that that's true, and that would be funny that you almost did get killed by Ken. That'd be hilarious that you almost died. Um, but I don't believe it. You put it in your Discord. You didn't put it in my Discord. I don't read your Discord. To be fair though, I don't read anybody's Discord. The alternator failure thing is real. Yeah, no, I believe that. Planes break all the time. Super unsafe. Wow. I mean, it's really just a death sentence at this point. I'm just kidding. Um, that That is terrifying, Cat Dead. I'm assuming there's like redundancies and you have all those checks and everything, right? My grandpa flew and was a training instructor, um, a flight training instructor during World War II. Um, and he, he grew up in Sierra Leone as a missionary and learned to fly small single engine planes there and then ended up, when he, when he joined the R Air Force, he was an instructor. And so he never flew any, um, combat missions but he was training everybody in florida right and so he would fly all these bombers and all these things and he he told the story um he used to tell the story about the time that uh he was flying a four engine b-52 and one by one all of the engines started to cut out 
to the point where they were down to one engine. And uh, he said that the manual says that at, for that plane, on one engine, you can basically fly in a straight line at sea level. So they had it flying really low all the way to the runway, and everybody's freaking out. And then as they were coming in to land, the entire runway is just lined with ambulances and fire trucks and all sorts of stuff. And he had some colorful words for it. He could tell the story obviously better than I could. But I always remember that. It was called the Army Air Corps. Oh, really? Multi-engine plane. You're so fancy, Cat Dad, with your multiple engines. All right, we have a rescue pod available. Uh, let's send Simon. Did you ever gel with surviving games, either Mars or Aftermath? Uh, I've survived both. Um, I, in fact, I recently played off stream. I played surviving the Aftermath for a bit. The problem that I have with that game is that they've released so much DLC. Um, and it, it's ridiculous how much it, everything would cost to get and it kind of turns me off, frankly. Like, it's it's a disproportionate amount of DLC. Like, paid DLC. I don't know the answer to that question, Cat Dad. I... They're pretty distinctly different games, but I thought Surviving Mars was the same as the uh, the underwater one. There was like a recent one that's very much Surviving Mars, but like in the ocean or something. I never played that one because it looked really dark, which is a bad streaming experience. No, I don't think it was Surviving Subnautica, but maybe. I've been known to be wrong. Same publisher, different devs. Okay. Yeah, surviving the aftermath. Um, it feels like it's man. It's on the doorstep of being really good, and instead, it's just kind of good. And I don't know if the DLC would kick it over, would kick it up a notch for me, but I'm not gonna spend the money to find out. But I think it's. For the, for the, you know, like, if you like that stuff, oh, we're out of power, heck. It costs a lot of power to keep the lights on with the radios and everything. We might need to turn them off periodically just to, like, get our energy banks up to 100%. At this point, let's just turn off. stuff we don't need um we probably don't need two freezers at this point turn off our research turn off the electric stove and just do like the basics plus what's in our fridge we can always turn it back on when we gain power back we may need to make more we might as well just build some more um, batteries. That's the word. All 
Paradox is Paradox is one of my favorite publishers. That's for sure. I'm going to be sad the day that I hear that they mistreat all their employees too, like every other publisher. It's, I mean, even Annapurna had heckin' drama, and you'd think <laughs> the little indie publisher that could would be more mindful. But here we are. Wait for it to be on sale. Also, check. Shop around. You're alluring. Aw, thanks, Squeezy. I, I love Juice a lot. Juice is my best friend on the internet. That's really kind of you to say. Jay Walker. How you doing, bud? It's true, Emmy. It's not the first time I've said that. This week. Thump, 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 thump. The uh, neighbor kids are over, so it's just... It's one of those things. Uh, come here, Han. It's not even... Well, I guess it is approaching witching hour. I'm actually surprised they were over this late. Normally, they're home by six for dinner. Juice is the bestest juice there ever was. Aw, Sin. Juice is the grumpy daddy only because it stopped running in the house. Not, not usually. There does come a point where I'm just like, okay. You know? Maybe we can only afford to do one of these since we don't have that many electronics and we might need some electronics in the future to repair things you know they're so loud it is a school night yeah See how there's actual meals in here? Why aren't they eating the veggie pizza or whatever instead of just eating the raw veggie? Like, shouldn't they eat the meals first? Just saying. Um, we need somebody to cook, I guess. Mr. Dreamer. Look, and look, of maybe you need to uh, resubscribe. Maybe upgrade to a tier three. Then it'll work. It's a fun experiment. subscribe to Twitch and stream loads. That's more subscribed than most people. I agree with you. But this has also happened before, so wouldn't fret. It'll be fine. Emmy uh, gifted five stream loots packs yesterday very generously. You think Stream Elements is jealous of Stream Loots? It's possible. Maybe you're on Stream Elements shit list. They're not competitors though, so I don't see how that would be a problem. Shooting star? No one cares about this.
Guys, we're doing good. We got, what, three people off? Off the planet? Out of seven? Hey, one more and we've tipped the scales to uh, C+, plus, right? I don't think I have a special song. So that's a weird question to ask somebody of. It's a little personal, bud. I think. Mm. Won't hurt anymore. Kind of is. Yeah, it seems like a... I don't know. Maybe I'm misinterpreting what you mean by that. Han, all the CPU core... Uh, oh, I thought Katie was here. Sin, you faked me out. All right. We have lay bugs. Uh, I don't know. When I hear special song and knowing of being a, pre a prevert, I'm assuming that he means like sexy time music and that's just a little weird. If it was like, what's your, what was your wedding dance song? That's different. That's what we mean, Juice. Yeah, I don't know. that's weird. I don't want to know what, what music people bone to. I mean, you can tell me, Gwen, but DM it to me. Oop. Ken is not in the right place. You gonna win this foot race, Ken? Hmm. Off repeats. You're cutting it a little bit close here, bud. Oh, Cat Dad almost got an early Christmas present. I feel uncomfortable. Dalton Mixture! Underscore streams wants juices opinion. Canada. Uh, Canada is a a cold place full of friendly people that are, you know, a little bit doofy and a little bit silly. 
and they talk funny. All I did was fall in love with Ken. With Ken, yes. Now you know how I felt all those years ago. With a specific gift that I know you know. Oh, hey, Han. Why don't we haul all these rations? Nope. There you go. That's better. Then you don't have to go outside to pick up your tinned ration. Cat Daddy, boo! Where are you going, Cat Dad? I'll miss you forever. Come on, BB. Don't leave me. I didn't... I, I haven't. We... Uh, we got three people off the planet. Jay Woka. Well, Sora died, but that happened really early on. Yeah, it's actually going pretty well. It's been a fairly smooth playthrough to get to this point and if we can get one person off one more person then we'll have gotten 50% or more than 50% I don't know I don't know if you count Sora or not of the seven living survivors when we got the technology we will have we will have gotten more than 50% off which to me is a victory and I think to the game it's also a victory but I'm not really sure what the uh the threshold is Dutch Oh, Cat Dad left and Dutch showed up? Have we ever seen them in chat at the same time? Now that I think about it? Is Dutch Cat Dad's alter ego? And vice versa? Hmm. Hmm. I totally thought we sacrificed Squeezy. No, we sent her off the planet, dude. Did you think we killed S Space Squaz? Space Squaz was the second person we sent off the planet. We sent her sister, her little sister off first. And then Space Squaz and then Simon. And next is going to probably be Yoko. Ken volunteered bravely to be the last person to go. And I want to honor his request, you know? Because not only is he the bravest, most cowboy of all of us, but is also the most capable. Dutch, how are you doing today? What time is it there? It's early, isn't it? Is it the middle of the night? You're like six, seven hours ahead? Is that right? I actually said awe Ken before you said that, but that's even more awe. Yeah, it's true. Why are you so sleepy, Dutch? Bum, 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 bum. 2.41 in the AM. Dutch, how are you living like this? I worry about you sometimes. Says the guy with the most degenerate hours. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just going to gonna let this ride we got even more guns we didn't even have these three guns until just recently that's how good we're doing at uh, actually gaining more um metal alloy a delight, just like just like web. web just like web where are these bastards oh there they are Where are they going? Oh, were they aggroed onto the... Oh, that's weird. They're like aggroed onto the uh, space deer, of all things. Just 
So these things actually have a little bit of reach, so you don't want to be right up on the edge. Sneak Thief! He's here. Going for that booty. Sneak Thief. So when are you going to go to bed, Dutch? Soon or are you staying up? What time is it? 7.43. So we've been going like a little over three hours. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to get some chili tonight, I think. I feel like chili tonight. Like chili tonight. There's more. There's always more. Stop it. Get some help. Where's the last one? Oh, he's over here. It's a distraction is what that is, Gwabarab. Um, eyes are having a hard time focusing. Oh, I'm sorry, here. Hey Dutch, how you doing tonight? It's good to see you, thank you for being here. Glad, glad to always have you here, whenever you can make it. Thank you. Have a, the rest of your evening is great if you're going to bed soon, otherwise, uh, Please join me in watching the Ken game, starring Gweb's boyfriend, Internet Ken. Kend game? Avengers Kend game? Ken, look at Ken. He's not even tired. He's handling that furnace like a champ. Now they're playing with a basketball right above my head, because that's what kids do before bed. Ken's doing great. We haven't seen a spaceship fly by in quite a while, though. We don't want it to slow down. It's almost fall. It's going to get warm or cold again. Uh, luckily, we have the required uh, outfits. Lord Erthos, whoa, whoa. Ken, do you ever sleep? You madman. Hey, 
What do we get? A rescue pod. Heck yeah, buds. All right, Yoko. And just like that, we're down to three. Neither of us do, if you know what I mean. I lost the context of that, but I think you're being a bit of a prevert guab. Did you see the Portugal picks, Juice? Uh, yeah. I think so. Like, from your vacation? Yeah, I did. Portugal looks great. I saw your little face. Uh, Mr. Dutch looks like a friend of mine. Another spaceship? What does it mean? You're very sleep deprived? Why are you like this? Uh, you don't need to send any of this stuff. Three hundred and eighty-six small mantises. Oh, we have no power. Heck. That's not gonna work. That's annoying. Um hmm. Wait, they're just attacking? They're not even giving us warning now? Nova is way out here. Oh, this is not great. Is that what's happening now? They just attack without warning? Oh, jeez, bud. Luckily, Nova's faster than they are. Glad you got some sleep, Jay Walker. Does Mr. Dutch spend time on Twitch or play video games or anything? Play D&D with you. Mm. Oh my god, shoot him already. Got pretty deep in there, man. Um, we're gonna rebuild this with concrete.
He does play video games, has trouble understanding D and D, and lurks on Twitch sometimes. Okay. How did you meet? Do you play games together? Cargo pod. Yes. Why are you handling furnace and not repairing? Let's take a look at our priorities real quick. Um, ugh. Okay, um, handling, okay, so that's why. Um, let's set handling to one on Nova, but two on Ken and Han, so they can focus on rebuilding. Eh. Han doesn't craft at all, huh? Okay. Uh, we used to a lot more when it was, life wasn't so busy. How I met, you can DM me. Oh, it's a secret. I mean, I'm just making conversation. You don't have to go out of your way. I'm really not, but thank you for saying that. <laughs> I'm working on it. Small talk has never been a strong suit of mine. But when you're a streamer, sometimes you gotta pretend to be interested in nerd stuff, you know? Ugh. I mean, have you seen, have you seen these nerds that hang out in here? Yikes, bud. I don't even know what I clicked on just now. I was clicking back into the game. Heck. <laughs> I resemble that remark. You sure do, bud. But you have an astute sense of self-awareness, which is, a, you know, it's a good chef, you know? It's a good, it's a good chef. It's a very nice, you know. I think we're done with uh, wooden oil press. Um, it's going to be fall real quick, but we're in good shape. I'm a weird little man. Are you little? Are you shorty? Uh, 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 uh. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Five six is pretty short. Just means that when you come to, to Juice Con, I'm going to pick you up like a sack of potatoes and big hugs <laughs> Chev's like I'm never coming to Juice Con now 
Whoa, Ken is berserk. No, Ken, why? Oh, don't punch the dog statue. Why? What happened all of a sudden? Is it the food? I bet it's the food. Eight on foot. Oh, is it because he was in the he was in the uh, the balloon? That's why. We are short. We're short. Uh, we got to turn this back on. Wasn't Prince like five two? Ye I mean, com <laughs> if that's the benchmark for short, then Chev is tall. But Emmy's short. So when you and Emmy, I mean, Emmy's not like short. Like, I didn't notice that she was, like, particularly short. Just, you know, normal. But you guys will have good hugs, you know? It'll be great. Jaywalker's 6'2", nice. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Look, Spud Webb was like five foot six and he could dunk. They just immediately attack now. They don't wait. Um, this is an interesting development that I don't know if I've ever noticed before. The problem, of course, being that if you are like Han or is this, oh, it's Nova. If you're like Nova and you're really far away from base, um, you're kind of in trouble, you know? Do we just keep Nova out here? Let's see if they're actually coming for her or if they're just gonna, because they're not near her. So they might just ignore and go straight for the, the base, you know? Yeah, they don't seem to be breaking off. Oh my God. Huh. Well, that's a thing that happened. Apparently they went splody all up in here. Blew up one of our dang guns. So Ken is injured. Your sweet, beautiful Ken is, is hurt, Wab. They, uh, they've done a lot of damage in here. They got pretty... Pretty far up in there. All right. fainted <laughs> oh 
Okay. Well, we got a little bit of repair work to do here. Upgrade to uh, carbon, which is goofy looking, but it's the strongest. Just protect him. He's he's fine. He's fine. He's already back on on duty here, but he's he's okay. The amount of yelling tonight is really extreme. With the kids upstairs, like this is exceptional. I hope everybody's enjoying this. I don't know if you can hear all of it, but. Back in the old days, before I got this mic, the uh, Yeti would pick up everything. It pops in for a second. Yeah, probably when there's thumping, like actual thumping, not just the high pitch, the higher pitch, like yelling. See, not only do I not like this because of the stupid blue edge on it, but you can see through it and you can see like the power cables that are connected to the devices. And I just think it looks sloppy, which is why I prefer concrete. But right now, it's about efficiency and efficacy more than it is about aesthetics. Ken is ravenously hungry for love, Gweb. Also, he's awaiting treatment. He had a burn on his leg. I know, you're right here. We gotta get you into space. We need space, Gweb. I started working on a mod for this game that would theoretically either add, it would certainly add, but would hopefully replace the existing characters with community member versions. But it's actually kind of a lot of work and it's gonna take a while and I'll probably lose steam, but I figured I'd try. Supply offer. Give me the scrap metal. And stupid cows. 94 stupid cows. Shoot him this way, bud. Pull him this way. There it is. Mm -hmm. 
So many cow. So much space. reaching this thing like how are they getting to this spot how do they have that kind of reach it's wild It's wild, Verka Jolene. That's a stampede. It is a space stampede. They get they get made crazy by these orbital space radios, you see. Han, you can't just go to bed when Ken is literally bleeding. He's got a broken rib and a perforation in his kidney. Oh my god. From a space cow? He must have got jabbed with a horn. Oh my god. Ken had a perforated kidney. Good thing we slapped a band-aid on him. Can you eat them? Yeah, I could. But I don't want to take the time to butcher them. We have food. I have already uh, 200 red meats in here. Actually more, 284. Now I need more electronics. Oh yeah. Malfunctioned solar panel. Yuck. Oh, and the battery. Oh, oh geez, bud. Ken is praying to Sora, who was so dumb that she didn't eat and then died from starvation. Ken's not even bothering to heal. He's just in repair mode. He can barely walk. He's he's re he had a perforated kidney like 30 minutes ago in game. You know what I mean? Like guys already up and about. He's just like, "Oh, there's work to be done. Kidneys be damned." I only need one of them anyway. Ken knows what needs to be done. Yeah, he's willing to sacrifice for the good of the of his friends, you know. He could just he he did walk it off. Ken just concentrated for a little bit and was like, I'm good. Look at him. I mean, what's Han doing? Sleeping like a baby? Ugh. Disgusting. Ken's out here crafting t-shirts. He's a rena a renaissance man. He can do anything. And this is part of why Gwen loves Ken so much. He'll do anything for his friends, even, and then he, he just picks up the, the sewing thread and the needle and he just gets to work on a t-shirt, you know? Because he knows that, like, after the fall, we're going to need t-shirts again. He's always thinking he's ahead of his, he's ahead of the class. Like that show, the head of the class. <laughs> huh? 
Han's always sleeping. What are you doing? Did you, didn't he just wake up? And now he's sleeping again? This guy. You know what? I'm a little nervous about having them way out here now that we know that the bugs are just rolling in without giving you warning. Because when they're this far away from base, it's hard for them to get back in time. Um, I think we're just going to have to stick to stuff that's nearby. Let's make sure we have enough sticks for the... F Ooh, we don't. Alright, Han. How you doing, Verka Jolene? I assume work has settled down now that we've got back onto the regular clock. Just eating dinner? What you eating? I want to get chili. Spanish rice, okay. How you feeling, Ken? He's got mild pain. Shortness of everybody has shortness of breath because they're because of the ash, the toxic ash. Okay, it's now fall. Han is sleeping again. <laughs> guy's always asleep. Getting, we're getting down to it. Um, I think we have to send Han. Han, it's your time, man. And then there were two, Canon Nova. Can Nova. We can make a Han Solo joke. I would, but it's important to me that Ken is the last one. His selfless sacrifice so that others might live needs to be championed. Although now we don't really need this t-shirt fine. Doing it, fam. It's the moment. I mean, we've already won. Even if these two die, we're gonna get a victory on this. We're gonna try to get Ken off safely, obviously. Or Gwen will hate me, but I'm just saying. This is the redemption arc he never should have needed. Yeah. Precisely, Gweb. Precisely.
Look at him now. He's now the resourceful Gwen is like or Gwen Ken, <laughs> Ken, which rhymes with Gwen, uh, just soldering circuit boards like a champ. Is there anything he can't do? What a technical marvel. He can then take all the hidden loot with him and not have to share it. Mm -hmm. Those outfits look so silly. Okay, scan. But honestly, if you could wear a synthetic outfit that provides this level of comfort and mobility and protection to your hockey games, you would be unstoppable. But yeah, they, the, the helmets in particular are super dorky looking. See a Verkat Jolene. Have fun with your raid. I hope you win all of the best loot and don't give any of it to Misha. Evil Misha. Um. What are you, where are you, what are you, where are you going? What are you doing up here? Aw, oh, buddy. This is so dangerous. No, just go back. It's too dangerous. Knock it off. Nova's making a snowman all the way over here? Can't you make a snowman over here? Or just come play darts or something? Yeah. Come on. Silly. different armor so I won't Ugh. you're cute though Dutch <laughs> oh boy so many stupid space cows attacking once more Unfortunately, the passing by spaceship has no way of helping. Rude. Let's see if we can't pull some of these over here. Towards the guns, eh, buds? Come on, you want to come over here, not over there? What are you doing over there for? Come over here. Oh, jeez, bud. back him up so Ken doesn't get another perforated kidney. Gooey bear. How's dinner, bud? Oh. 
Ken will hold the line. Oh no, Ken got injured. Uh, some electronics. Nova, get back out of here. Focus fire, stupid space cows. herd of space cattle approaches it's true uh we need a cowboy for this can we get an exclamation point cowboy in chat a coward sounds like cow herd and that would make me a cowboy which means i'm not scared You gotta heal Ken. He has a, a stab in his right arm. He's also ravenously hungry. Eat a veggie pizza, Ken. You'll feel better. Hey, hey! That doesn't look like a veggie pizza. Pearl World's White Schmuckle! Pearl World's just subscribed. Schmuckle gifted a tier 1 sub to Pearl World's. This is their first gift sub in the channel. Schmuckle, that's so kind of you. Thanks for gifting that sub. That's really nice. Pearl World's back. Back once again. Welcome back. 16 months in a row. That's a lot. Pearl Whirls. Pip Burton. You can fire dance. That's right. That's right. Go make sure to taunt Zam with that as often as possible. Malfunctioned thermostat? Oh no. We can't have that. How's it gonna know when to turn the heat on? It's almost winter time. It's actually legitimately a problem. <laughs> like, I'm joking because it doesn't seem like serious in the face of space swarms of bugs and stuff, but like also they can freeze to death. So we do need to repair the thermostat. There we go. You know I will. Good. I've been in and out and all night. What are these? List some of the activities going on for you, gooey bear. Did you see that the game, The Last of Us, is just full of problems, Gooey? It's gonna be a while, dude. I'm gonna, I'll try again once they release a patch or something up for performance. The, the, the devs have, like, acknowledged the fact that it's not working right. Which I would assume means they're going to address it and try to fix it. Yeah. 
so not you know we still have hope I'm so sorry that it's not working right. I mean, it just kind of derailed my plans for this week, but it's not the end of the world. Hey, Nova, come answer the phone. Ah, uh, they blocked our communication. That's rude. Don't they know who they're talking to? Well, to be fair, it was Nova, not Ken. They might have answered the phone if it was Ken, you know? Uh, it came out on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, yesterday. Or Monday. Depending on your time zone, I think. I'm not sure. Yesterday feels like a long time ago. Cause like, it, we, I streamed a long time, then I went to basketball, then I got and I stayed up and then I went to sleep and then I woke up and then I slept again and now I've been streaming and it's like, it, I don't know. Time is weird. But I'm from the future. Uh, Jay Walker's from the future, that's right. What's gonna happen in the future for us, Jay Walker? Jay Walker, Louis Bear. Wow. Wait, now they're aggressive, but they're not immediately attacking. Oh my god. Make up your mind, bugs. Scavenging. Mm -mm. Now is not the time. Now is decidedly not the time to scavenge. How's our armor and weapons? Okay, sorry. I can't tell you as it will affect the timeline. Dang it. Why are they going over there? Silly AI. Raboyo, who's that guy ma making everybody smile? It's Raboyo, boyo. Mm, I'm gonna work on that. I feel like we need to, it has to be like, oh boyo, it's Raboyo. Gotta workshop it.
Y'all are being real slow, guys. So much slowty. All right. Um, Chef Raboy RD. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh boy, oh. Ro boy, oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh boy, it's. Ro boy, oh. Mm, I'm gonna. I like. It's, you know. Like I said, we gotta workshop it a little bit. I'm doing a work lurk. I'm one of the cool kids now. Hoopers, you've always been one of the cool kids. Dutch, go to sleep. I hope you sleep the good. What? Do you, why are you sleeping, Ken? Oh my god, you stupid, beautiful dummy. Um, he's sleeping in the room that I that doesn't have a heater because I did a thing where I took out the heaters in the other rooms. You know what? That's the coolest. Uh, Nova, talk to the spaceship. No answer. Why? It's the second time in a row. It's rude. So rude. Woohoo! Stop calling Amber for text messages. Um, do you think that's the aliens that we're contacting? I just assumed it was other human ships that are passing by. Why are you scavenging right now, Nova? Is it because I have you set to scavenge? Yeah, repair the turret. Oh, Ken, going to sleep. All right, then. At least... At least he's got a heater in that one. Proud of you, bud. Ken is tired, okay? Just give the man a break. I'm... Yeah, I'm with you, dude. Ken works tirelessly for the good of the colony. Ugh. I could do without these stupid cow attacks. I just want to get the gate repaired, just in case. That's really where things could go super sideways. If a gate goes down and all of a sudden the enemies can get up onto our platform. That would be bad. Scooter Matt Gooder. Aren't you supposed to be playing Apex? What the heck? soon 
can't not play Apex. Y'all should look at that game. Oh, heck. Looking it up. Am I looking it up? Deceive Incorporated. I'm sure Adam will rage because it's more than just straight up shooting people, but it looks like fun. Or SWAT. Or uh, what's it called? Uh, Ready or Not. I'll totally play Ready or Not. Look it up. It's like CSGO kind of, but PvE. You have to fight the terrorists. It's hilarious. How many more space cows? How now, space cow? Why? This is so boring. You're never going to get through. You're never going to do what you want. I realize your job is to merely distract me from my goals, prevent me from repairing things or whatever, but as effective as that is, it's annoying. Where's the last one? Yeah, that looks amazing, actually. Um, the destructive, destructible environments look like super cool. Mana and Kaylin have been enjoying Deceive Incorporated. Well, there you have it. A ringing endorsement from Canada and wherever Kaylin is from. Somewhere in the south, I think. The dongs, that too. Gweb, you'll play Ready or Not with me, right? You like shooting stuff. You like CSGO. Yeah. I, me I emailed, or I, I messaged, no, I didn't message the devs. I, I messaged, um, or I did the uh, lurk it for it, but I haven't gotten any keys yet. I was hoping to get some keys. So that, because it's a little bit expensive for people that aren't into that type of game. I was hoping to get like a real fish out of water uh, game going with like squeezy and boopers because it would be funny um but at 30 dollars i think somebody it did have to be somebody that actually enjoys clicking on heads you know it's fun though i mean it's real it's it's like half it's like hard in part because it's like janky and in part because it's just hard and that's fun. Um, yeah, look into it because I'll do that. I'll do it on Friday. Can uh, get that food, bud. We just need these last two rescue ships. Like we're just kind of biding our time. him playing the he did you know that ken could play the didgeridoo and more bugs more attacky bugs
Emmy? I feel like this is some kind of a weird bait and switch. Give me a laser pike. So much carnage. Oh, this is a lot of brood mothers. <laughs> like, kind of a silly number. How dare you deflect our bullets? And that's the way you do it. Clint, yeah. Emmy, don't step up. Don't try to scam Gwen Squirrel. You can have Han. Race. I mean, you can have whoever. It doesn't have to be a guy. It could be anybody. It doesn't matter. Just not. Just not Ken. You want space squeeze? Fine. I I approve. In fact, I encourage it. Even even the way Ken eats is amazing. Malfunctioned orbital radio? Oh no. Juice, was that a gift? A we need girlfriends reference. Yeah, do you know we need girlfriends? That's amazing. Um, absolutely, it is. Although apparently it's a reference from a movie. I actually showed that to Boop not that long ago, and she was not into it. In high school. Yes, in high school. <laughs> the the topical MySpace references. It doesn't really hold up. I don't know. We also watched the Boo, which is a Lonely Island series from about the same period of time. 
It's kind of like a, the, an OC spoof. I mean, it's low res, right? Like the the quality of video is low and stuff, so it's it's a little bit hard to watch now. I think is mostly what it is, at least for me. And then some of it is just like, you know, it's amateurish, but I liked it. I used to watch that with Slap Toast actually. It's like Power Rangers. I don't know that We Need Girlfriends is anything like Power Rangers, Gwen, but you know what? I'm going to let you have this one. Ah. No. We have a malfunctioned orbital antenna. Please repair immediately. Thanks, Ken. Good thing somebody here can do anything, and that person is Ken. You want to enjoy it, but it's... I mean, come on. The, you want to watch Power Rangers? Gwen. It's not good. And it was never good, Gwen. Come on. Watch the new movie. There's a new movie coming out. Ken. Okay, look. I love you, Ken, but just finish the radio. There you go. It was like one hit. Yeah, you can love... I, I accept that it might, like, create a sense of nostalgia. But... Uh, it's not good. Where are these space turkeys at? Space ostrich. Yeah, just come near where the guns are. It's fine. Digimon. I liked Digimon, actually. I liked it because it was um, sequential, whereas I felt like Pokemon wasn't. Pokemon was pretty much just episodic, right? Yeah, I liked Digimon. I did. I did like it better. And at, I mean, at the time, they were both pretty much new, so I didn't. You know, we didn't know that Pokemon was going to be the biggest thing ever, but... drawing this out game you have three Pokemon figures in front of me I have I mean my kids have countless Pokemon cards and I got them some of the games and other they have few figures and all sorts of stuff I was too old for it. I mean, I wasn't too old for it. I shouldn't say that. I think I was in high school, though. And so I just wasn't. I had other stuff to do. Poops. I was touching poops. So I just wasn't into that. I was never into uh, 
What's the anime where they just punch each other and get all angry? Um, with uh, Goku as one of the characters. Dragon Ball. Yeah, I was too old for Dragon Ball. Beyblade's still around. Like my my ten year old was playing with Bay 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 Beyblades. Beyblades like today, like literally this morning. It's like, buddy, it's time to go to school. I got I gotta finish this epic battle. One of them's about to burst, and it's like you don't have to. You could wait. You could just resume that later. No, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I never understood Dragon Ball Z. It was, to me, it was literally just like, I'm really angry. Well, I'm really angry too. Punch, 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 punch. Episode over. Expedite. You have a 10 and 6? I've got 10 and 7. Uh, and they like, they have gone through minor Yu-Gi-Oh phases. Uh, for a while, my 10 year old was into Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like the card game. Um, and I think they've watched some cartoons of it. My heyday was really the 80s Saturday morning cartoons. And then like the afternoon cartoons too. Transformer and most of the mostly the typical prototypical boy stuff, but additionally like Smurfs. Um I liked the Care Bear Cousins. And I I think I watched some Care Bears, it was fine. Uh what else would have been Gem in the Hologram sometimes? What else was sorted? Of not, I mean, the traditional stuff for me, the classic stuff for me would have been like Voltron, G.I. Joe, Thundercats, Transformers, Mask, you know, and then a bunch of other ones that are like that. Did you watch the dinosaurs? Like, not the mama? Uh, yeah, sometimes. TGIF was big because when that was popular i was in that phase between like i was too old or i guess i was old enough to be up on a friday night but not old enough to be out on a friday night you know like when you're like 12 13 um and then it was you know perfect strangers family matters step by step whatever else i'm forgetting ken Come talk to the spaceship, please. Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright wasn't bad. She-Ra. Hey, Rescue Pod. Um, She-Ra, I mean, to be fair, She-Ra was basically just an extension of He-Man, which I was into. Um, but She-Ra was cool, you know? Fraggle Rock. Yep. Snorks. Um, I remember, like, on Saturday mornings, the first cartoon that was on at, like, 5.30 a.m. my time would have been, like, Camp Candy. Why do I remember this? Because we lived for Saturday morning cartoons. Nothing was on demand. I used to, like, get up for whatever was on first and then there were basically three channels that had saturday morning cartoons and i knew exactly what to switch to so it'd be this thing then this thing then switch over to abc then watch alvin and the chipmunks or whatever and then i'm back over here to watch smurfs and then later on in the saturday it was like around 11 then saved by the bell would come on right it started to transition i think we're done with stream raiders it would start to transition out of cartoons into more uh, live action tween stuff at some point. 
Legends of the Hidden Temple, I seem to recall, or something like that. Because Legends of the Hidden Temple was Nickelodeon. We didn't have Nickelodeon, but it, there was something like it that was actually on network TV. It might have been. And I don't know. Finders Keepers, was that on network TV? After these messages, we'll be right back. Well, my transitions are the He-Man and Batman. But yeah, I actually looked into that Orko, like, We'll be right back after the, but it's just too long. 568 bugs versus Ken. Let's go, Ken. We got this, bud. We're doing it. <laughs> Power clam, activate. Ken is the, Ken is the problem. No, what? Misha, we're winning. Won't he get lonely? I mean, we're gonna get him off this godforsaken rock to be reunited with Gwen. Ken is a delight, just like web. Yeah. Keep it juicy. This is when it's going to maybe get a little dicey because he has to come out here. But they all seem preoccupied. Oh god, they got inside. I didn't open the door. Close the door. Gosh dang it. I misclicked or something. Did we do it? Hey, Scoots, how was your race? Or whatever. 10K. Ken is having to heal himself. He got stabbed. Can you imagine? Can you imagine stabbing Ken? Crushed the first seven miles. The second hill on mile eight murdered me, but I managed to finish inside your goal of 10 to 10 and a half minutes per mile. That's awesome, dude. Good job. Proud of you. Can't imagine. I can imagine Cat Dad stabbing Ken. Yeah. I think, I think what it is is that Cat Dad has some complicated emotions. Uh, I think there's some attraction in there and a little insecurity about Cat Dad's own masculinity, you know? Like, can Cat Dad do what Ken can do? No. You know, like... It's like how all of these anti-gay legislators are all secretly gay. I feel like that's maybe what we're looking at here with Cat Dad. When it comes to Ken in particular. You have some DMs that say some interesting things. Whoa. I mean, I was just speculating. You can't out Cat Dad. There's a big difference, Gwen. The story runs deep. All right. Let's just leave it at that. Inquiring minds will have to talk to Cat Dad directly about it. <laughs> he 
you've deserved a little a little break here, Gweb. Or I'm sorry, Ken. Uh of get subscribed, nerd. Have you tried refreshing? I don't imagine that matters, but maybe there's something with like API or who knows what. I don't know how technology works. That's more of a scooter magooter thing. You think Cat Dad broke it? I mean, he doesn't have any access. The only person that has access, well, there's probably three. Corky, Moro, and Misha, I think, are the only ones that have access to stream elements. So one of them might have been able to sabotage you. Now, Misha hasn't been around all night, but that doesn't mean it wasn't her. In fact, that she wasn't around would indicate that maybe she was busy doing other things, like sabotaging you. Whereas Moro was here for much of the night. Corky is here now, but was gone at wrestling practice. Ken, you're doing great. Spacious bedroom, plus 18. You could make it the most spacious bedroom that there ever was. Shake my dongs at stream dongsments daily. Wow. At least no one else has to hear him play the didgeridoo. How didgeridoo dare you? Scooter. Unbelievable. A shooting star. No one cares, game. But you're shooting stars. All we care about is getting Ken safely home. And you're delaying it with all this shooting star nonsense. Stupid game. I can't believe we have one living person in this cat. No, everyone else is also living. They are escaped into space. It's not a euphemism for death. They're still alive. But I, I understand what you're saying. I just want to make sure that you realize that, like, the others are safe. When is Ken releasing his or he Ken Ken's album is is like when you go to the mall at Christmas time and it's like that you the, are the guys that play the pan flute, you know, like the Celine Dion songs on the pan flute. That's Ken on the didgeridoo, and he releases it. It's available at kiosks everywhere. Nerd! Whoop. <sighs> We've got more bugs attacking. They're attacking Ken. Ken is not afraid, though. Why don't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? I just want to get his bedroom nice and cleaned up, you know? So after this battle, he can just relax and not have to worry about tidying up. Ken, you're doing great. Everybody loves you, Ken. Mm 
It'll it'll fix itself of Don't worry. It's not the first time this has happened. Not for Ken, Misha. Daunting for anyone else, but not for Ken. Ken has built and maintained a perfectly well-oiled death machine in the form of the power clam. Nothing can defeat it. He's perfectly safe. My bad, Ken. I could have done that better, probably. But you're fine. You're fine. Just sleep it off. You're okay. Nothing's ruined. Everything's great. We do need to repair this, though. Ken loves a little danger. Yeah, it's true. It keeps that's how he feels alive. Kenneth, you sleepy bastard. Got a stab in his left arm. He's ravenously hungry. Oh, look at him. Look at him, Gwen. Just soak in that, that steely gaze and those full lips and his nice hair. Oh my God, very symmetrical. You're gonna make beautiful babies together. Those babies aren't going to grow a good beard, but that's not the point. Babies like Ben and Jen, yeah. And you can name it Ben Affleck, which works for a girl or a boy. Yeah, he's having a music night, not a movie night. Simon is actually a little more age appropriate, but Ken's personality is more up my alley. Look, age is a construct. Who cares? I mean, as long as everybody's legal and consenting, you know, and like older than 25, because your brain isn't fully formed until you're 25. I'm on board. I don't really care. Who am I to judge? You don't think Ken is 25? Oh no, he's 20. Hmm. 
I will, uh, I can artificially age him, uh, in uh, using mods. <laughs> Just for you, bud. It's got a lot of, it's true. You're both at peak, uh, sexual prowess. Risk of meltdown Ken you wouldn't dare What do we do for Ken's meltdown? Well, he's gonna attend music night. That's gonna make him happy It's definitely a hand pan Mizuic, yeah. Oh my god, he he plays like a like an angel. He should have a harp. Whatever. Did you see that movie where Tom Hanks gets stranded on that desert island? He all he could make was like a shitty boat out of some plastic. Look at what Ken has achieved. That's all I'm saying. And he's playing the didgeridoo too. Oh my god. And it matches his outfit. That's how that's how thoughtful Ken is. Okay? He's he stays on brand at all times. In addition to just excelling at everything he does. Uh -oh. oh no. <laughs> 232 flyers. Let's go. Here's the real test, Ken. We got a big one, team. It's probably best for you to start working on some uh some medicine, yeah. I like how it goes into autosave. Huh. Uh here, let's let's do this. It's spawning 1,123 hungry pests in the middle of this combat. <sighs> Disappointed! Don't worry, this isn't going to slow down the entire game. Alright, I'm giving it 10 minutes and then I got to go. <laughs> like, I wanted to be done with this playthrough tonight, but I, I need to get to the store before it closes to get some chili, and I've been streaming for five hours. Alright, all the flyers are dead. We got that going for us. I know, Goofling. 
I got a hankering. Oh yeah, bud. Ty Durden, how you doing there? Oh, oh dear. Misha, that's Canadian and you know it. Oh jeez, bud. Look, this is egregious. All right. Uh, you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna disable the motion sensors because if I do that now, just do it for a rip. If I do that, I'm gonna forget to turn them back on 100%. So it's just gonna, the guns are just gonna be on and shooting these bugs. And then it's gonna aggro and it's gonna slow time down. And it's gonna play the, the combat music on repeat for the next hour. Cruising Minnesota streams till wild game starts. Oh yeah, bud. We'll snipe Sully boys. Oh Misha loves the wild games. Oh yeah. She she she's a real wild fan a eh, bud i don't know why i'm going more canadian you betcha me shall bring the hot dish down to this to the excel center there and uh everybody re really appreciates it you know It's not very Minnesotan of me, but I am a fan of the Vikings and the Timberwolves more than hockey. But I do enjoy watching the hockey from time to time. I actually like going to the hockey more than I like watching the hockey on TV. It's a good atmosphere. It's fun. I used to live right by the cathedral and we would, uh, we would w wait until after the puck dropped and walk down there and just buy like scalp tickets for lower level for like 20 bucks this is going back 10 years mind you um everything is like digital now but back then at, you know at, at a certain point on like a on a wednesday night or whatever uh the tickets weren't that hot and uh you know the scalpers would have them and they'd take 20 bucks over nothing over eating the cost so as long as you're willing to to risk not getting in, you could basically name your own price and they could choose whether they wanted the money or not. And if they ever said no, which they never did, but it was always like, okay, cool, we'll go to the Liffy. Oh, how about the hat trick? Oh yeah. It's weird that they've basically eliminated scalping and yet the aftermarket prices are still insanely expensive. Oh my God. Hey, it's starting to go a little faster. All right, look, if if we don't get, out, get him into a spaceship in the next seven minutes, Ripperonis. In fact, I need a time to put on pants that aren't made out of pajama material and actually get to the store. So I should probably start wrapping it up now. Um, let's just do that. It's fine. Uh, so, uh, everybody, thank you for being here. If you haven't hit the follow button, I encourage you to do so. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time for a very special Thursday edition of The Boop Show featuring Justice TV. Uh, we're going to be playing a new game called Ken is the Ken is the problem called Ken is a delight. Uh, no, it's called small land. It is a crafty survival. I'll be playing it with boopers uh, here live for your viewing pleasure. At some point in the near future, we will finish this playthrough and we will get uh, Ken Gwen off of the planet. 
and I was like, this is going to take longer than I have time to mess around with because I had to go for some reason. It was getting late, too. Um, so, yeah, the update is Power Clam is stronger than ever. Apparently Ken is sleeping. I'm not sure why. Um, and we've got a thousand hungry pests. Ken is now injured. <laughs> See, the problem is... Okay, look. Are we done with the actual attack? I think we're done with the actual attack. Um, we have to turn off the motion sensors, or the guns will continue to try to uh, attack the uh, bugs. Um, and it's annoying because... They're not actually rolling in to kill the, the things where I need them to be killed. They're just, they're like biting uh, the outside of the base, which where the guns can't hit them. You know what I mean? So we just got to like stop them from aggroing. Right? Okay, so now they're not attacking. Now there's one attacking. Where is it? Now they're not attacking. All right. Just leave it. Just leave it alone. Ken is healing himself. Hi, Gooey Bear. Can we get some juice waves in the chat for Gooey Bear. Thank you so much. You're making bread. Did that's good, dude. Good for you. That sounds like fun. Um, all right, so we have successfully gotten everyone off of the planet, except for Sora, who is never gonna leave the planet. Um, and then Ken. And for Ken, we just are trying to keep him alive, uh, and and hopefully a at any at any time, uh, a spaceship will will fly by and we'll be able to get Ken off the planet. In the meantime, we have to wait for the thousand or nine hundred and fifty nine bugs now to like go away because it's going to be a little bit slow until that point. We have to get Ken off the planet. I know. You're correct. Yes. Geo, you lovely human bear hybrid. <laughs> Shanks does stars. It's in the title. I know. I look, dude. We put a lot of effort into getting can get everybody off the island, off the island, off the island, off of the planet, and the island. Um. And. Ken volunteered bravely to be the last one off. There was a dialogue that popped up with Ken who was like, I will go last because I'm the, I'm the best there is and I care about everybody else more than I care about myself. And then at that point, Emmy was like, I'm on team Ken now. That's not true. I've called you lovely all the time, gooey bear. How dare you? Now you're just a liar. Now you're not so lovely with your lies. I haven't been paying attention to people actually leaving the planet. My phone is dying. I'm going to miss it. Hoopers, go plug your phone in. When do you work until Bob nods? Like, um, you get home early enough that if you drove home, we could play some small land. Is that what you're saying? By the end of stream? An Apache SJ. has machine guns and missiles. It is an unbelievably impressive complement of weaponry. An absolute death machine. SJ. Hey, buddy. Tell them, yeah, tell them that George 
from Pittsburgh said that it was okay for you to go home early. Can uh... Well, so my 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 biggest my only issue, and it's not even you know, like in the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal, but what I don't have is a contingency plan for if The Last of Us doesn't work again. It will be then like community vote on what we want to play. Or maybe, maybe I'll just, I'll just take the night, the rest of the night off and do nothing. No, that's not true. Bugs go away. You're making everything slow. I want to play small lane so bad. I watched. I've watched a few streamers. Donk and Timey. Uh, Kinetic Ghost is playing Why it. Why am I so slow? And there are like so many places that we. Like we've. It's not a huge map to begin with. But like. We, we've really just stayed in like this little. This one little area. And there are all sorts of things to see. And all sorts of enemies to get murdered by. You miss 100% of the shots you don't make. Juices TV. I have something in my eye. It's been in my eye for at least 24 hours. Sometimes it doesn't irritate me, but it's been irritating me all day. I took a nap and I woke up and everything was fine. And I was like, oh, great. And now it's... I can kind of feel it back again, and it's annoying me. I can't get it out. I can't see it. It might just be like something is irritated and not like an actual particle, but uh, it's real annoying. Hi. Uh, but you still land among the stars. We have to achieve the stars. Achieve the stars, boopers. Article Man does hate Triangle Man, but I don't know why. I missed the memo on why the hate. Ken is moving. It looks like Ken is just moving slowly, but actually it's it's just that the game's very slow because of the 958 bugs milling about. And why do they have to send 958 bugs? What does it accomplish? It accomplishes nothing. It means nothing, except that it slows everything down. That's all it does. And it's annoying. That's annoying. Why do they do it? I don't know. Uh, does it have to scale up with how good I'm doing? It does not. Um, but it does. And the effect is that the game becomes far less enjoyable. Uh, Laura Lana, holy cow, look at this. An all-star from the Dunkstar channel. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. You have to go find a phone charger and count many things. All right, boopers, good luck. Godspeed. Take care. Um, I hope that your inventory is successful and that you find everything. We know that Boopers isn't very good at counting, so this might be difficult, but uh, let's not tell her that. Like, we have to keep a positive, you know, happy face on for her. Like, is it going to be a train wreck? Yeah. Can she count higher than 35? Not sure. Um, at least now without getting distracted, you know? Drawing a blank on what I want to eat. Um, yeah, sushi... I had chili. So, remember when I really wanted chili? Oh, that's why I had to go. Okay. <laughs> remember? Remember when we were doing this and it was getting late and I'd been streaming like five or six hours or whatever? And I'm like, I, look, 
I gotta I gotta go because I gotta I wanna eat chili and the store closes at like nine or something or ten maybe so I like got off at like nine fifteen. Go to the store, get chili, get a couple other things, get out of there, get home, go to put the chili in the microwave, and there's already food in there that Pucker had very kindly ordered for, for both of us. It was Thai food. But I didn't know that she was doing that. Normally like we kind of talk about it. So she was kind of surprising me with that. And it was a nice surprise, but like she didn't know I was going to make a big thing. Like I was really have a hankering for chili and all this stuff. Um, so it was just, it was kind of comical. And then, but then I had chili last night is the story. Um, Laurelana, this game is called Stranded Alien Dawn. Oh no, it's got the wrong title. Sorry, I said small land in there. Um, this game is called S Stranded Alien Dawn, which is much like um, 3D RimWorld. The reason it's going very slow is because there's so many bugs just sitting there doing nothing, and it slows down the entire game. Uh, the, the, the basic rundown of the game is that you crash land on this alien planet, and at, at the start, there's four survivors and you have to like chop down trees and mine rocks and scavenge spaceship debris and research technologies um why do I only have Ken? What, Squeezy, we talked about this. We got everybody else off the planet. We've managed to rescue everyone. We had seven survivors by the end of it. Um, or at the peak of it, I guess. And then we got the orbital radios going, which are going now. And then they've contacted. We can only send one at a time. And it takes a while in between. Looks like the bugs are going away. So it's going to speed up now. Thank goodness. Um, so... So we have successfully shuttled off six survivors. And Ken is the last remaining survivor. And now he has to single-handedly fight off whatever bugs come to try to murder him. Uh, and hopefully uh, gets off the planet instead of dying horribly. We did have one death from starvation, but that was stupid and not my fault. It was... I guess it was kind of my fault. So here's the thing about starvation. When they are cold and or extremely hot, it will tell you like one survivor has hypothermia. And then if the hypothermia gets really bad, it'll be like Wah! one survivor has life threatening hypothermia. And then you're like, oh, no, uh, I better I better do something about that. But when they are starving, it's just like one survivor is starving, which in the grand scheme of thing happen all the time because they're dumb and they forget to eat or, you know, they get distracted or like they're supposed to eat and then I make them go do something and I don't know how hungry they are. Well, it never tells you like, oh, Sora, if she, she has light, life threatening malnutrition, it never says anything like that. So all of a sudden she's just dead. And I'm just like, I, I didn't, I didn't really know. I mean, I, so it kind of warns you, but also if you paid attention to that warning that pops up all the time, that's like, sort of like, man, somebody's not eating you very much. Like you would just constantly be checking everything. You know, like it's just, it's, it's a little in, inconsistent, I guess. Um, they just decided to spawn 93 space cows at us. And it's just Ken defending. Um, so this is a problem. Not, not that Ken is the problem. Ken is not the problem. Ken is a delightful hero. Space hero, Ken. We're going to try to draw them down here to where the guns are. To the extent that we can. Oh, I remember. I have the guns turned off. 
because I turned them off to deal with the, uh, or so that they wouldn't attack. So they wouldn't attack all the bugs and therefore be a complete nuisance the entire time. Ken has a cold. Okay, guns are back on. Ken is back on. Let's go. Let's draw more cows over space cows over to the over to the guns. Come on. Come on, space cows. So yeah, we're essentially just waiting for space a spaceship to come by our orbit and contact us. Of course, if the cows have their way, they will destroy the orbital radio, preventing us from doing that. But that's why Ken is here with his trusty sniper rifle. Lord Erthos, how you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. Yeah, I mean, if you were to watch the game from the beginning, Good evening. you might not think it was like super complicated. We are tonight's entertainment. You're coming in right at the tail end of things. And uh, and that's what you're seeing now. Villain, it's good to see you, bud. Uh, I'm a little bit too close to these cows and they've hit me. I do not like this. Because you got to imagine with this game, it's it's, you know, it starts off fairly straightforward and simple and then it becomes more complicated and you know when you first start off you just have like a shed can we drag some over this way you think if you can drag them over here then the guns can shoot at them Ken is too tired. Also, Ken is bleeding out in one day and four hours. Um. Alright, Ken, you gotta you gotta heal yourself, but but these cows will not stop. So we don't have the luxury of letting Ken take a nap. We have to kill all the cows. Ugh. He's got a a heart perforation. Oh my god. He just slapped a band-aid on his heart and was like, I'm good to go, because I'm Ken. And he's passed out again. This is going to be a... This is a whole thing. How come they don't attack the balloon? I, I don't think... I don't know. I don't think they care about the balloon. So the the cows, the normally docile cows, only care be about they like the this orbital antenna uh, get them all angry and incensed. So they're going specifically to try to kill the orbital antenna. So I don't think that they have motivation to kill uh, to kill the balloon. This one's actually really close. Oh, they got it. Son of a biscuit. Well, that stymies my plans. There's only three left, at least. All 
All right. The guns got the other one. So they did get one of our antennas, and that's real annoying. Um. So now if we get attacked... Uh, well, actually, no, I was nervous because if we, I was saying if we got attacked, the bugs could get onto our platform, but actually, oh no, they could right here. These stairs are, are vulnerable. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to clear or shore this part up first and rebuild the, the fortifications around the wall so that like our defense doesn't crumble. And then we need to rebuild our antenna. But first, Ken has to sleep or he's going to have a meltdown. The drama. Finally, I'm working, ready to go see Second City. Nice. If it isn't fun, I'm blaming Tough. Why did Tough tell you to do it? All right, Ken, we have work to do. When you're Ken, there's always work to do. Spaceship junk. Don't care about that. We're gonna audible. Uh, repair wooden floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we doing? Wait, where are you going? No, why? There's. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ken. Oh, he's having a meltdown. Son of a biscuit. He's having a little sad boy wander. Not ideal. And now they're attacking while he's sad. See? The computer is... Uh, being a jerk. They're attacking while I'm not even here. Like, what? Well, <laughs> at least they're not attacking Ken. But if they break through this wall and we're not here to defend against them, then we're in real trouble. Come with me to the kitchen to make some dinner. <laughs> so yeah this is so this game is very much RimWorld in 3D Lorelana so if, since you're familiar with RimWorld you, you basically get the yeah the idea here it doesn't have like uh, RimWorld there's huge differences but there are many similarities um in RimWorld you can have so many colonists and they are always coming and going and they die and then you get new ones and you know it's a whole thing in this it's like i've never had more than seven colonists at one time i think eight is probably the max that you can have um i'm not 100 percent sure on that now we're in trouble they've broken through they are breaking everything We have to draw all of these. Oh, this is it.
This might be the end, my friends. Ken goes down. Uni! Hey, buddy. 2% underscore unicorn milk just subscribed. That's almost a year. Uni resubscribing tier two. Thank you so much, Unicorn Malk. I hope you're doing well. You're doing better than Ken. One way or another, this game is about to end. And it looks like it's going to be the other because these bugs, the computer cheated and broke through, and now they're up to top. <laughs> And, uh, there's just too many of them. Ken's gonna bleed out. My beautiful base. Oh, some of them got in the fire. Good. Yeah, go down there. Go and get in the fire. It's hot down there. It's fun in the fire. Yeah. Why aren't these other ones going off? There's no fuel in them. That's why. Okay. That's not ideal. <laughs> the good news is that we did manage to get six people off the planet before this exact moment. The bad news is we were really hoping to get Ken off too. And, he, and we could have had things not gone exactly this way. Oh no. Oh no. Ken, why? Top it all off. He has mild pneumonia. New Year's Eve? Yeah, we can sell it. Maybe now is not the time for celebrating New Year's Eve. Ken did not have it coming. T Ken has been a hero this entire playthrough, a stalwart, a champion. And now this is how Ken dies. But you know what? He's going to die happily knowing. Oh, he's back up. Ken is the. And he's, and he's back problem. down. And he's back up. And he's dead. <laughs> Achievement unlocked the long way home. We did it, fam. We victoried. It's been a... I mean, Ken didn't do it. Ken died. But Ken got six of his closest friends off of this godforsaken planet. And that's what's important to Ken. He didn't. He never thought about himself and living. He just wanted his friends to live. He's a true, a true hero in every sense of the word. Scanchin, hello. It's a pleasure. Feel free to join us in Stream Raiders, friends, if you are so inclined. It is free to play. Go to that link that pops up. We can place units down in the battles. I need to place two centurions and some saints. I think I... Do I have more than one saint? I don't think so. Um, what is a centurion? Armored? Armored. Okay. What in the world? What in the world? Someone bought a skin. Sovereign42 purchased a, a He-Man Barbarian. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's been a long time since I've heard that noise. That's really kind. Um, all right. It's over with the last survivor out of the planet. You've successfully completed the scenario. Six survivors were rescued. 14,477 animals killed. And by that, they mean evil bugs. Evil Nazi bugs were all died. Okay, some of them were like cows. And we ate them. That's a victory, my friends. 